This video is showing the Royal Master Centerless Grinder model TG12 by 4. It has a servo cycle ram bed position control, over the wheel template dressers with the motor traverse and the ball screw. It has a granite machine bed and it has a magazine feeder with a linear encoder to deliver the part between the wheels and then to unload the part it has a pick and place to deposit the finished ground part into a hopper. We're in feed grinding the point on a small diameter rod. We have templates to dress the form into both the work wheel and the regulating wheel. In this case the form is a taper angle with a sharper point at the tip. The servo cycle has a ball screw and the ram has the swing ram along with a lateral adjustment. The feeder has diameter side rails and length adjustment to be very adjustable and flexible for various different parts. There's a large capacity hopper so that the machine can run unattended for a long period of time. Under the cover is an IAI robo cylinder that is position and velocity controlled at up to five points, five position points. It's made on a slide that's bolted to the side of the machine bed. And it has a pin position for the grind location. Then there's a height adjustment and a slide to pull the feeder back away from the grinder. And an adjustment for left-right for wheel wear adjustment. It's very easy to use, very easy to move out of the way for setup, and then drop it right back into the uh, pin located positions. The HMI has two active screens. The upper screen is our standard in-feed grind. We have the wheel on and off, your coolant selection, you can turn the mist collector on, we have cycle start and automatic or manual, and you turn the feeder on and off. The regulating wheel speed is set, the ram position is displayed, compensations are done here with the accumulated total and a set amount for compensations. Single step for incrementing the ram position in during the setup. A little status display here and along the bottom here, which tells you uh, the cycle time. It's a 12 second cycle time plus load and unload. The second screen, the lower screen, uh, we have displayed is in-feed parameters. The in-feed parameter screen is used to set up the in-feed cycle from the closed position to the retracted position. We have graphic representation of the plunge and we have uh, the uh, final position is zero, that's the closed position. The retracted position is uh, 5, or 0.04, and 0.004. Velocities are set below those. To get from here to here, we go at that velocity. From here to here, we go at that velocity. Spark out timer. 
You can turn the ejector on or off if that applies to your application. We can change to a different screen. We have a jog screen where you can jog the ram axis, the work wheel dresser axis, the regular wheel dresser axis. The status screen is uh, status of the different um, motions of the machine and the different features that are turned on. The work wheel dresser screen is a very simple screen. You can do a single pass uh, and then you can return it. We have a start position and an end position. The velocity to get to the end position, your dress speed, and the return speed, which would be a rapid return. Regulating wheel dresser is the same, but it includes the regulating wheel RPM, conveniently located on the dresser screen, so that you can turn up the dress speed from the set grinding speed. A diagnostic screen giving you a quick status update of the different axes. Counters. Multiple counters are available to turn on if you'll use them. We have the cycle counter, which is a standard counter to count up or count down, and the gauge counter. Uh, you may want to use a counter based on how frequently you need to dress the wheel or make a scheduled size compensation. The part select is a library, and in this case we have just one part in the library, but you could have multiple parts in the library and scroll through them, have a JPEG, have a part number, a description, and when you're uh, selecting a part to run next on an in-feed grind, you would uh, select that and download it into the machine controller, and it would upload it into the in-feed parameters of the screen automatically. Alarms, it would state the alarms that are active and uh, they would be listed here. You could acknowledge and clear them. Different users, you can set up passwords. Administrative has full access, operator has limited access, and a technician has uh, uh, less limited access to the setup of the machine. Settings, you could set the maximum spindle load which would be displayed here, uh, a RAM negative limit, automatic shutdown, wheel run out time, and you can have automatic coolant on with the cycle. Advanced high act settings and uh, inch and metric. The feeder on this machine is controlled with some status lights and these lights are changing out based on what the feeder is doing. So you can watch that it's cycling through the feed program properly in the right sequence. You can see that the part is loaded, that the part is unloaded, and that the magazine hopper part present is enabled. You can turn the feeder on and the unloader on independently. Then the part load, this would be the setup for the feeder. The part load, uh, it's at position zero and now it's moving, uh, that's the ram position of the linear motor pushing the part in. So we'll watch it go into the load, final position is 166.5. So from the retracted position of the loader, that would be the loader is retracted these are the positions at the top, and these are the velocities to get to that position. So retracted position, it would rapid to a start position just before the part is going to be pushed out of the magazine. Then it goes to the intermediate position, which would be a way to slow down the, the push of the part so that it doesn't have uh, the momentum to push it too far. And then the final position is the exact position of the grind. The uh, final to unload is, uh, the unload position is the retracted linear uh, motor for pushing the part in. 
and that would come back at a fast rate. All right, so the controls are straightforward. They're all uh, uh, intuitive and screen controls. The granite bed is a solid foundation, reduces thermal expansion, it's very rigid, and it has deep and wide coolant trough ways. This, the taper adjustment feature is uh, adjustable for uh, correcting the angle. The regulating wheel drive is the motor, gearbox, and a coupler. The dressers have a motor and a ball screw and then the bellows that pushes the slide across the bracket. The coolant flow is adjustable independently for both dress and grind. The work rest holder and the work rest blade are positioned on the dovetail between the wheels. The new machine builds have a bed and a base, and the base has the forklift tunnels to make putting the machine into position easier. The electric cabinet handles the three phase and the control power. There's the main air and the lubricator. So this is the TG 12 by four servo cycle with an automatic part loader.